Thank you. Do the video. <laughs> Think he wants to get, to get out of here? Yeah. What? My nose is running like a faucet. There's a Kleenex right there. Yeah. Well, okay, we're it, live on the uh, graphic. Okay, make sure we're muted. Okay, go ahead through. Well, Debbie, here we are backstage in your theater, in your hotel. Why Las Vegas? Why have the whole thing here? Now, why not? <laughs> Las Vegas is now the entertainment capital of the world in America. I mean, naturally, England always has the most wonderful theater, and not that we can ever really equal the quality of that, even though we sometimes try. So why am I here? Because they have plays in all the legit houses now, and they don't have what I call vaudeville. And that's what I love to do, is sing and dance, do impressions, and be in a live show, and so have my own little place. Crazy, crazy for fear. of tea for two. Oh my god. What is it? Tea for two. For two. For tea. Me for you. And you for me. Tea for tea. For tea. For tea. For tea. For tea. For tea. Hey, big finish here today. Come on now. Is, it's just incredible. It's, it's a stunning place to see. I think so, but I've worked so hard to have this done since 1970, so it's 25 years now. And my son, you know, it's like generational to generational. My, my son has the great new ideas about having all the stages move and the curtains rise, and then you see the costumes and you run the film clips. So it's not a boring, static exhibit. So Todd did that, and Mother had all the costumes and all the furniture and the chandeliers and so together we did it. And you've been collecting this stuff over the years then. You were buying it up just to preserve history. Before you were born, I think. <laughs> I think that's true. 1970 it started because MGM had a big auction, you know, for about five weeks straight. And I couldn't believe they were really selling off all the history and not really caring about saving a big chunk of it at least. And nobody seemed to have that feeling except myself. I was sobbing every day thinking, this is so terrible. Why doesn't everybody care? Why isn't everybody here with their checkbook? At least buying our own costumes, you know. But I called Fred Astaire and he says, nah, if they don't care, I don't. He was very upset. And then I called Greer Garson and she said, well, if they don't care about us, then we just simply not bother. So I thought, well, that's no answer, is it? So I just went and borrowed more money, and I went there, and I bought some more. So I really have a fabulously large collection, and they're wonderful items. And the people are thrilled. They're all lined up and happy to share this moment. And share it they did at the official opening of the Debbie Reynolds Motion Picture Museum. It is absolutely superb. It must be like a dream come true. It is, especially for my mother, obviously, who's for 25 years been talking about this coming to life. 
and I've been around it, hearing about it, and uh, frankly, it's been a contagious disease of hers, this dream, and I'm thrilled to be a part of it. Well, the opening night was a very special night. All the stars of screen and stage were here. Was that a bit nerve-wracking for you to have them as your, your first guests? Yes, it was. I mean, uh, obviously, your, your best critics are going to be those that are in your industry, and I was a little concerned about what they might think because they're also going to nitpick this thing. I mean, the slightest thing out of place is going to be noticed by them. Roddy McDowell, for example, came in, and just, he loved it. I was most concerned about him. He's on the uh, Board of Academy, and uh, he's a very, uh, uh, shall we say, a, a very knowledgeable film buff in every detail. And uh, when I got the, the clearance from him that he thought it was great, I was like, because I know he's one of the most picky. One of the main things, besides the collection, is the taste and excellence with which it's presented. It's unique. And I think uh, it's one of the most delightful places to visit. I've never seen anything like it. And there's also the most famous movie sled from Citizen Kane. Ah, the Virgin Queen, Bette Davis. And it wouldn't be complete without one to sing in the rain from Debbie's own personal collection. What is it like to have Debbie Reynolds as your mom? Well, a lot of people think that that's somehow strange, but since I have no other frame of reference, I've only had one mother, and that being her, I don't know any other mother. Some people, when they want to find their mother, they go into the kitchen. I go to Las Vegas. That's my frame of reference. But in addition to that, a lot of people said, well, not only is it asked, what's it like to be the son of, but isn't that difficult being in the shadow of such an enormous star or something like that? And my response these days is, she gives great shade. When I was a little boy, and all of the calamity that went on in our life, and as heavily publicized as that always was, I knew one thing, as sure as I'm standing here today, I knew that my mother loved me and was always there for me. And all through my life, even though I moved out at a very young age, typical of a rebellious young man, I still always knew that we were best of friends and that we were there for each other. And many years later, here we are 30 plus years later, and uh, she called me and said, would you help me do this? And uh, I did it, A, for her, because she's my mother, and she's done so much for me for all of my life that I didn't owe it to her, but I wanted to give it to her. And then at the same time, the quality of the project could not be ignored. We're back. We're back. <laughs> Dora. Back. Dora was on stage and she was talking to me and we Busted. had no idea. <laughs> Hello, Dora Lena Fernandez. Hello, beautiful. And we have Liz Cochran in the beautiful house. Girls. We have Luke All Neary the in the house from Houston, Texas. I I've had so many Have wonderful people you. stopping by. There you go. We have Samantha in the house, and we have Johnny here. That's right. Who else? Have, is you know, we're almost at that? maximum COVID capacity. I mean, you know, I, see I can't see. There's, there's six feet of Who separation everywhere here. But Dawn. Dawn. Dawn is here. She has a broken foot no yeah so at my and my really good friend who lives two doors down just broke her shoulder and so it's like a break fest. it's a break fest and uh, we have been taking really good care of each other but that's what we're supposed to do isn't it happy saturday everybody saturday night we have a full <laughs> house we're super excited you're here i love that clip <laughs> i loved uh, that clip you liked what part of it? Every part of it, because uh, you know it's it's so interesting to, well, it for me also, th to see you. You look like that in my eyes, because that's what you look like when I met you. Oh, see, she's just totally blinded by the light. I, I'm not kidding. When I meet somebody, that's how I remember them forever. It's just the way my eyes see people, you know. So if so I, I see, so I was uh, thirty something. Yes. And that's the time that I call. I was in town, and I called the hotel t for Henry, who worked with you, and I, I hadn't seen him in like 15 years. So I wanted to go out because I was here working for a few days, and they put me on the phone with you, and here's me. Uh, you said Todd Fisher. Here's me. Um, I, er, I didn't mean to bother anybody. Uh, Why didn't you sing to me? Oh my God! I was. I remember. I know. I was. Uh, you know. I had. I was crushing on you back in the eighties. I was. So I, I was just like, oh, 
I, I, I'm sorry to bother you. I was just trying to get a hold of Henry. And he said, who's this? I and think Henry could have got Dickwood. this thing going long ago. <laughs> I think he did too. But anyway, we're together now and that's all that matters. It's something your mother would say, isn't it? That is. Fait yeah. accompli. A fait accompli, she used to say. But, you know, I loved, uh, you know, that you were such a team with your mom. You know, you and your mom against the world at some point, many, many times. It felt that way at times. With, with the museum and the highs and the lows, and it was more lows than highs. As and she used to sing, good times and bum times, I've seen them all, my dear. I'm still here. That's exactly. <laughs> but I, you know, and I love how your mom, um, she would have never really been able to do all this without you. And, you know, and because I remember she did all the collecting, but at some point it's like thousands of items had to be looked after, cared well, for. None of that was really on the radar at the moment that you just saw. What was on the radar at that moment was we're doing the hotel. It's been dumped back in our lap. Pretty obvious we're on our own. Yeah. The the showroom is very successful. She's killing it. It's I mean, you know, like, and it like was she's beautiful. That pe showroom. But people are just loving what's going on and they're loving her show and everything is great and the hotel is doing really well. We're saddled obviously with some problems from her ex husband. But aside from that, you know, I looked at her and I just said, We need to do we have to do the museum. And she's like, Where? We don't have the space. And I said, Look, whatever space we have we won't open that other restaurant over there. We'll steal that space and we'll just make it happen with whatever space we do have. We didn't really have a huge amount of space. But but that is when I came up with the carousel idea, which I stole. We partly. still have the carousel. We still have the carousel. I want to do something carousels. with Carousels. I know, but the big giant carousel. So that what you we put did the there in Vegas on. is we had a 30 foot carousel that was divided into six sections. And the back of each set was a rear screen projection system. So one projector fed six different screens as it rotated. It was pretty high tech stuff. I got the idea loosely from the General Electric Theater in Disneyland. And when I was mm -hmm. a little boy, I went to the General Electric Theater, theater in Disneyland and you sat in the audience and they had all the appliances of yesterday, today, and tomorrow on the stage mm -hmm. and they rotated you around it. And that's what made me think of that is, wow, you can get a lot more going on in a small space if you use these carousels. So we started to build and design around that. And we could only hold like 10% of the collection. It wasn't like, oh, wow, we're going to get so much I know, of this on. but you chose the, the, some magnificent 10 percenters. Because and part of it, though, was based on what was in shape to show. It mm -hmm. wasn't like that. We had some cool stuff that we was not in condition. We needed to get it restored. So that was the other thing we did. We had Randy Hendrickson, some other people, Michael Rene, not the actor. Uh, we hired these fantastic people that started to work on the collection for the very first time in its history since the days it left the studio. Yeah. Think about that. In 1970 and before, if stuff had been racked up in these warehouses on these back lots, and not well, I'm talking funky places, w literally just wooden warehouses with high ceilings and wooden floors and very musty kind of funky places, racks and racks and racks, thousands of things. And my mother, obviously, the auction occurs and we move all of this stuff, but it had never really been gone through. It basically got stuffed into DR Studios warehouse closets, you know, and we racked it up there, not knowing what we were doing either at that point. But when the museum came to life in Vegas, it, it, it brought with it a consciousness of preservation. And, and I started saying to my mother, you know, we have to start to take on the responsibility. And there, here were the resources for the first time ever, too. This thing's making money. I mean, we're running 14 shows a day. Of the memorabilia, and it was a show. You would sit in uh, like movie people, theater seats. So 100 people every hour on the hour, like right. a machine. Ugh. So sometimes, you know, the daily profits could be significant from that, enough so that we started to take on the responsibility and the task of archiving and, and um, restoring the collection, uh, the ones that we couldn't get on display, and then rotating it in and out in the theaters, as it were. And what you saw there was opening night, that interview you saw with Roddy McDowell. We have our own interview with him. Um, and what's funny is, I mean, I'm not joking around. I mean, you, he is, without a doubt, he was the guy that had me the most concerned. Because he is, other than like a Robert Osborne, you had then Roddy McDowell equal or better. You mean than. because th they were seeing it all and you were... Uh, no, I mean Robert Osborne, you know, you know... From yeah, I, I, I knew He knows Robert everything Osborne about everything. Too. But the thing is, is uh, you, were, were, you were concerned because of 
how it was presented and what they would think. Look, of. I knew I did a good job, yeah. but did I make a mistake? Is, is, I mean, you don't know, you get so close to something for that long and you build it and then you don't really know what, what it, you know, what the world is going to think of it. I mean, I did my best. We put oh, our- Oh, I, I think it was just amazing. But when you asked me what I loved about that, it was just that I love your mom always gave you, and I know it's not a big deal to you, but I think credit is really great and it's you sh people should get it where it's due and nobody should take credit for someone else's thoughts, ideas, or work. And, and your mom always, gave you the credit for being able to do this and and so uh it was a true partnership you know a deep uh, well, we love for each other and the true. collection but and we also everything. developed uh, during early life um an understanding uh, that that credit isn't what it's all about and no but um, this is not a side okay I good because no, I, I you and i really do i i no, get what saying, you're saying no i'm not but saying i think we, people like and no, deserve I'm not, credit when and they i'm not can, saying they, they do don't things. but what i'm yeah. saying is is that it's not why you do something like i didn't do it for the credit okay well that's a different no thing. i'm just saying a yeah. lot of people get all hung up in the fact that they didn't get their due and on things and i i love my my stepfather larry zabel uh, had a wife and she... No, he was your father-in-law. Okay, whatever he was, <laughs> something. He, and he was a brother and your best friend. Larry and I were really tight. And, yeah. and Larry and I developed a whole philosophy around credit because we started seeing how destructive it could be. You know, people getting like, oh my God, I didn't get my credit, then they're going to get all up, uptight about that. So Yeah, but it, here's how I feel about this and why I feel strongly about it. Because... About what? About... It, you know, maybe the word credit really isn't it, but I just feel that people should be acknowledged for their participation, their thoughts, ideas, and creativity. This is a different, you're on the other side of what I'm talking about. So giving credit is a beautiful thing. Yes. When my mother sat there just then and she said. Gave you credit. No, I mean, she said I couldn't do it without them and all that. I mean, yeah. that's very gratifying and, and, and there's truth in it. But I, the point is, is that I didn't, do it for any of that i didn't expect it i understand that but but he, had i had it been you could see how somebody would think oh i didn't get enough credit for this or that no or some it, people that get mess you no up. credit and that's really wrong and uh, right. sometimes an attaboy is worth more than a paycheck i mean can i get an amen on that how many people out there work <laughs> 10 hours 12 hours 13 hours a day and no one ever says thank you so much I really don't know if I could do this without you. You know what I mean? That's an attaboy that well, if you can't pay a, somebody what they're you know worth, what? then that's you at least have to give them that. And, you know, we're, we're living in times right now that are kind of interesting. What runs in parallel with that is if I don't think people understand that if you live in a communist or socialist country. Yeah, which I have. A, a, attaboys don't come. <laughs> they're not part of the lexicon. But we're not going to go there. No, no, it's not <laughs> politics. It's very... <laughs> we're no, just moving along now. We're no. going to... Get I, off this immediately no, because I, I don't. I, I get it, yelled at. No. No, I do. I get people that no, get all mad. I don't about care. It. Okay. Nobody, well, everybody okay, should be. But anyway, we, we have a limited time, so we let me be. just move because I got to move this train. <laughs> I can't throw the brakes on here for you, buddy. I got to move the train, huh? Oh, that's true. Okay. I'm going to have my agent call in. No, because we're going to chat, but I just want to also say that we do have an auction item tonight, and I, I'm going Bob, to show it to yeah, you. It's tied oh, and let's bring, let's bring Ryan up because Ryan's here, and I need to see him because it's, I miss you terribly. Ryan, bring yourself Hi. up. You there? I'm here. Oh, there you are. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hi. Stay put. Hey, everybody, say hi to Ryan. Ryan, the most try to stay on the screen. Don't let it switch. Just stay. Yes, yeah, stay on the screen with us. Can you lock yourself on the screen? Or do oh, we have to? I can. Look yeah, because how we don't need to see. Uh, oh my there you gosh! Go. Just lock he, yourself. You're looking good, Ryan. Looking. Can you fine. pin yourself? Oh. There you go. Pin yourself, or do we have to do it? I think you have to do it. John, All right, so while you're you getting the, pinned. See the laptop, I mean the computer over there? Try to pin his picture up on the screen. All right. And while you're getting pinned, let me say hi to a few people, and then we're going to look at this cruel auction Go item. Go upper right where Linda his Factor, picture is, John. Ryan Clements, Francis Bouchard. You feel Car Debbie and Carrie spirits tonight. You know what? I always feel them when we talk about them, and that's why we continue to that's talk right. about them, because, you know, we want them to be very much be with us, even if we can't call them. Did you notice, by yeah. the way, everybody? Come on my camera for a second, John. What do you got? 
Did you did you look did you see what's over my shoulder? The badger? Well, the badger's over one shoulder, but yeah. look a little further. Carrie? I got I've got new a new haunt over my shoulder. Oh, what is it? Oh, the rebel? Yeah, I got Carrie over beautiful. there. Beautiful. That's a beautiful You guys see Carrie poster. hanging out of my shoulder? Where did you get that? That Mark Shepard found that. Mark from a, Shepard what was came the artist through name, this Mark? year with the birthday for you. So an art, there was an artist who put that together. It's not a released poster, but I like it. Yep, and, it's uh, gorgeous. I also uh, added to the stage uh, a picture of my stepmom. <laughs> How many people can say that? <laughs> and That's funny. For those of you who don't understand what happened between my mother uh, and my father and Liz, etc., this picture should sit, tell the tale. Um, I like to. I always show that to guys in particular when they. That's a beautiful. When they picture. say, "I don't really understand," you know, how do you feel about the whole thing happened to your mom? I say, "Well, I'm not condoning what happened, but you know, look at that picture and tell me you don't understand that that could be a problem." It, yeah. <laughs> so it's the moral to the story: don't ever like have a best friend that is the most beautiful don't celebrated let your movie well, star. Well, there, there's that several that morals to the story. Okay. The first moral of the story is, is that here's the first moral. The okay. first moral of the story is in the Jewish faith, yes. you're never supposed to name anyone after someone alive. Really? Yes. So you see, and if you do, they consider that bad luck. So Mike Todd dies in a plane crash one month after my father names me after him. It's an old Jewish wise still. Yeah, but here's the thing. <laughs> well, it, uh, he was still alive when you were named Todd. That's the point. You're yeah. not supposed to do that. That oh. was a mis that was a not. Oh man! In that, now you, I'm not. I mean, you, you made know, that, So you could say you it's made superstition. that plane go down. So I may. Oh it may all God. be on me. <laughs> that's just okay, that's hard. first. That's the first one. Then the the second one is that if in in fact that does occur, you know, you you could you could feel these things danger zone, and you know, Carrie of course famously says that you know immediately. After Mike Todd dies, my, fa my father rushes to the side of Elizabeth, and gradually moving around to her front. And, and, that, and, and, and that's my, that may be my favorite Carrie Fisher-ism. It's hard to find a favorite, but that is a very know, good one. I know, but it's one Only of my favorites. Only she would think in those terms. I mean, it's like, I mean, I could think in certain terms about this, but the idea that she's thinking that he rushes to her side to console her, gradually moving his way around to her front. I mean, I, I was, just, was that um, wishful drinking? Yes. Yes, I loved it. Loved it. All right. So we tonight we have uh, all the usual suspects and, uh, and Jan Hanley and Linda Kornreich and my favorite people are all here. And of course, some of my very favorite people are here live, which is awesome. Yay. OK, now. Uh, Frank Ferruccio. I'm seeing here that you are not feeling great. In fact, you're feeling terrible. And we just want you to know that we love you and take care of yourself. I'd be on a plane to New Jersey if I was able to do that, but I'm not at this moment because I'm not fully healed. But uh, don't make me come to New Jersey. Don't. Because you will. Because I will. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. But I want you here. So, you know, that's just that's just a warning to you, Frank. Don't be surprised if so you So we are all agreeing and sending out healing thoughts In the to Frank. name of Jesus, Frank Ferruccio. All of his friends are right now that's right. thinking very positive thoughts We are thoughts all gathered to together as to one to that's claim right. and to believe and declare a healing on Frank Ferruccio. Amen. And there we said it. Okay, Frank. Politically don't incorrect make me come again. To New Jersey. There you go. That's right. Okay, now. Uh, the auction item for tonight. I'm going to move because yeah, you know Don wants that. Did me. you know that? Don, you love this. I don't know. It was Debbie's, and there's a there's a photograph of it, um, and it is beautiful. In fact, uh, when I found this, I, it, I I was going through when we some things today, and I saw this, and I thought. I always think I want to pick things that I would buy. You know what I mean? That I would want, that I would want to own. I would wear that if I could. Um, well, it's a two-piece it thing. It is. It's a two-piece. So it's a dress So there's underneath. all three. John's got it up there. So John has it so you can see it. And now, if shoes. you have the picture of Debbie, don't take the picture if you win this. 
Um, yeah, we'll we'll figure something out because there's only so many, right? R that's correct. And, and you I, can't get I, any more. But on the other hand, if 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 you're going to have like a Debbie item and you don't have a signed picture, that was why I was providing these because I wanted people to be able to have a, a, a signed picture to go with. Well, a you costume. weren't here. So we had to make an executive decision. No, it's fine to do yeah. it. I, I'm not. So done. that is that was the decision Dora and I made. We stand by it. That is tonight. I don't know if you if you you can see it very well because it is behind well, right me. Right there. Look. Oh, the pictures. Me. Oh, uh, just g get ready to rumble because everyone has asked me today where I got my shirt. All right. Are we you ready? auctioning it off? No, we're not auctioning it off. I went to Cracker Barrel a few weeks ago to pick up food, and I had to wait. So I went in that little store, and this shirt was in there. And I, I loved it. And it was on sale, so I think I paid like $20 for this. And it's Shocking. Yeah, so I like to share because it's all about the art of the deal, right? You know, you know. No doubt. So but be careful, though, they're using those words oh. in that, that form. So, okay. so anyway, I love this shirt, too, and I love the tassels on it. And it was, it, I got it at Cracker Barrel. There it is, full, full disclosure. But I love... I'm sure there's something politically incorrect about Cracker Barrel, too, <laughs> because after because all... Because you can't be called a cracker. <laughs> well, there's just uh, there's something got to be wrong with that. <laughs> I mean, right. after all. I mean. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, so run down and get yourself one because it's a beautiful shirt. <laughs> Ryan, you still with us? <laughs> yeah, I'm still with you. Okay. See, Ryan. We is, go off on tangents. Ryan stays it's on. He stays out of all of this <laughs> stuff, you know, because he's got to deal with these little monsters in his classroom, and he doesn't want to taint them with oh, any I of this. Do. Yeah, he has to deal, but he's going to be here Wednesday. Hey Ryan, show, Wednesday. hey Ryan, show us around your room a little bit, because does your monitor pan around where we could see some of your collectibles? Yeah, I'm he here. has. Oh my God. Oh yeah, let's. All night. Yeah, let's look. All right, look. Let's, try, let's try this. Okay. You try it. All I right. I do. I'm very interested. All right. All right. Here we go. See, Ryan collects too. Oh, he's a major collector. Yeah. That's why I think people oh, yeah. find that, it interesting. Can you see that? Oh yes, and it's signed nice. by both of them. So yes, do you, have, So did you uh, have Pat Morita? Did you get Pat? No. He got. Uh, you know that Pat was a buddy of mine. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, he used to hang out at the hotel down. all the time. Slow down, so we can see your stuff. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen it. Is that a picture of oh Carrie? Oh my God, you have a, he loves Carrie. He named his dog oh, after yeah. Leia. I got some of that from the auction. Remember ah. the, yeah, remember the, the auction? Plates. Yeah, I remember you were here. <gasps> Is that a mask? Freddy. Of, no, not Freddy. That's Jason, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, see, I know my scary movies. See yes, I do. Game? I do. Who's that signature? David Hasselhoff. Who's oh. that? My God, I just had a Vietnam flashback. Now, wait a minute. Over here, you, is, that, is that my CD right there? With, I saw. Yep. Oh, and, that's Carrie. Okay, yeah. so I, right here. Yeah. All right. So when I, that CD came out and that cover came out, I was on uh, Fox Morning, you know, what's it called? The Morning Show yep. in, in New York. And um, Brian Kilmeade, who's still there, which is incredible, said, uh, so why are your eyes closed? And I said because they're not open. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just hey, like Brian, go back to your okay. go back to your uh, st store display there. So that's like every possible Harry Potter thing oh, you can yeah. have. Can that's we, quite a collection there, buddy. In the original uh, packaging and everything, right? Right on. Oh yeah. Now you know, Ryan, I have all of the carry toys starting from 1977 forward in the original packaging. Oh. All the Kenner That's ones. Impressive. It's Steffi. incredible, but it's not my bag, so oh. you might have to be the caretaker. You know, so everybody that... that That's not your bag. Well, I just... No, I don't collect oh, the Oh, wait toys. a minute. That, I don't want to take you all the way around the whole house. No, no, but here, I but see. I love all your posters and that Star Wars lots, machine. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. And the exercise bike that I do not use. No, you can hang clothes on it. I it's use a it wonderful, for drying laundry. If you hang clothes on it, then you're using it. So just that's right. You, right. That's what we do with the, those and and treadmills, right? So that's pretty that cool. So exactly. here's the point. Yeah. How long you been doing this, Ryan? How long have you been collecting? Oh, oh. I have tubs and I probably have a dozen tubs full of stuff that isn't even out. Um, prop since college. So. Have you ever heard the George Carlin uh, routine on stuff? 
uh. one of the all-time <laughs> funniest uh, routines. And what's what's funny about that is is you're living it because you don't have enough room for your stuff. I don't. I absolutely. So you need don't. to get like a I, get a got to get a bigger place. Got to get a bigger place to keep I, your stuff in. And I need to start parting with some things. I Why? I don't know if I, I, I kind of figure if they're not important to be out on the walls and displayed and enjoyed and seen, then maybe I don't need it. No, you're I'm talking sorry. to the high end hoarder of is, all times. I'm so <laughs> let me straighten I, you out. During COVID. Let me straighten. Oh, you wait out. a minute. I haven't stopped. Look, before we go on, if you want to start the bidding, it's it's you can bid it, uh, on Debbie's uh, dress and shoes and sign photograph. Bidding starts at $5. So anybody that wants to jump in there, just put Debbie and then what your bid is. Okay, now. So the criteria <coughs> for a what you're talking about is it's not about do I have enough room to display it. You know, it's a, it's a question of where the focus does change, right? As you go along, you get certain things finished off and you can lose interest in certain yes. things. There's nothing wrong with trading around after you hit those kind of goals. But That's like, true. So, but it's not really, it shouldn't be about what I have in the bin because I didn't have room on the wall or the display case. It should be more about. Am You're I not gonna, good for me. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not really good for anybody who has any sort of financial collecting issue. No. no, but here's During how. COVID, I got really addicted to autograph collecting. So uh, that has not been good for my wallet, but I just can't. I feel like I need to slow down, but then I will see. Oh, Olivia Newton John is doing a signing, and I'm I, I'm like I gotta have it. I gotta have a grease. I gotta have a signed grease poster. It's gotta happen. I don't care what I have to pay. I've got to do it. Um, I understand. You know, so that's kind of she where was I'm at. damn the cute in those days, wasn't she? Yeah. Better shape up. Uh, yeah. Um, great, I'm great. answering a question. What yeah, is I'm, it? They're asking, uh, Aubrey has asked if this was yellow or gold, and it's, it's actually both. Yeah, it's, it's marigold, but John, there's also yellow, and there's a, there's a really nice gold piece in the middle. Uh, again, that's a two, it's two pieces, but it's, it's yellow and gold. So I hope that answers your question, and uh, here we go. All right. Well, so, anyway, the point being, when you, when you collect stuff, it's, it's fine to change your direction because you've my mother for an example when she first started collecting costumes she shifted and she was when she was buying she had a bunch of television costumes pretty good ones too mm. batman and robin you know some pretty good oh, stuff yeah. uh, but she decided she knew at a certain point wow there's no way i can go down that path and the movie path so i'm going to focus on that uh, uh, and and so that that was an okay shift and we used those costumes to get other movie costumes so we traded so i consider that a very effective and very smart way to trade yes. see you're a savvy collector so you might find a great deal on a certain item that you know a lot yes. about so let's say there's a particular toy that it's in its original packaging you know this is going to be able to flip so buying that to trade with i think is very smart i do this a lot and cat will tell you yeah. much to her chagrin because the you know garage fills empties and fills up oh my and god and i up. it we're near tunnels now i mean it's getting that tunnels you're 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 high end hoarding now mind you it's nice stuff i i will agree but we're headed towards the tunnels now no no see you know it's the, all when you go to somebody's house and you're like oh we got to call see, hoarders the catch is, now the catch is you have to understand you know where it's where we're going so for an example yeah. when we're we're decorating the studio right now we're finishing the studio so certain things are going to get used there we're doing a lounge and then when all of that is done then you kind of go back and you say all right now I, okay we this can all go uh, mm -hmm. because we're not going to use it unless it's for the other but building you know to, you really to, filter to, yeah to be fair you repurposed a lot for the new theater and i was very impressed with that because i believe there's in a repurposing. ton of yeah. money in repurposing Absolutely. i don't mean just the floors i mean oh there i know are, there I, are, are the walls or the, I mean, the everything even, there are even there's even patch bays and when are you going to do a show and tell for everybody well i mean it, we did one the other night not long ago what the room is now playing music so for those of you that have been following the progress of the studio scott edmondson is a musician so and he was you know saying how beautiful it was so the other thing is i wore my tadeo hat you see my tadeo hat yeah so tadeo we were talking about liz earlier yeah 
uh, started a company, Mike Todd started a company, Todd Anamorphic Optics, that later became Todd AO Sound, which was one of the most famous mixing places ever <coughs> in Hollywood. It was like the place to go to mix your film, etc. So we're, we are going to call our place Todd AO. Uh, and I happen, to, in Mike's honor tonight, I have Mike Todd's watch on. So this this is a... This is a Bolivia gold watch that belonged to Mike Todd. It's the only thing I have that belonged to Mike. So we're, again, you're talking about collecting. Yeah. If I wasn't at a particular auction of some obscure thing, and you said a minute ago I had to have it, I mean, how could I not have Mike Todd's watch? <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. like you saying, how could I not have Olivia Newton-John's signature? You know. Mm -hmm. I get it. <laughs> Frank Ferruccio makes me laugh, even when he's at home and in pain and misery. He said, Xanadu is like heroin. <laughs> that's so funny that was a weird movie it that was, was but really you know what I it it's an underrated classic you know what I mean like so there are some people that really and you know that movie was actually shot at the Pan Pacific building right on La Cienega and Fairfax it's gone now it's gone yeah. but they had given that to my mother to try to do the museum in and then they couldn't get the deal done and all that but that was going to be the museum it is location. so hard for me to believe ex that 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 deal couldn't get done I mean it is impossible for me to believe be only because and I've talked about this briefly before but when we set the mini museum up for the first auction Ryan I wish you had been there I've got to I've got to cut that well, stuff we have together. The footage. But there were people from all over the world waiting in line for hours and hours every single day. People that owned stores and restaurants on those streets where all the people were waiting in line came to thank us for making their business thrive because they had so many people that it that the streets of Beverly Hills were more packed than I've ever seen them in all my years there. And if that, if people waited in line for hours to go in and see just so a part the, of the collection. Here's the, here's the deal, Can though. Can you imagine how you're, wonderful the, that would have been? My mother always knew that the people you're talking about would appreciate it. She oh, always, she, well, she, she did knew it, it for always. the people. She did it for them. Yeah. She always knew that's what it was about. She also realized very quickly that the people in the business wouldn't give a shit. Yeah. And didn't give a shit. I did not even flinch. You have to give me some props. Because I said the S word? Yes. I didn't flinch. I didn't say Todd. I could have dropped, dropped the... I could have dropped the... I'm getting numb. Let me tell you. Carrie tells that same story and uses the F bomb in place of the S bomb. And so, therefore, I saved you. Thank you. All that sorts I appreciate. Of I do. That would have been very stressful. But your mom did it for the people. The people showed up. And someday I do want to make a documentary about the museum because we have so much footage and and so so and many wonderful people that I know that I interviewed you know when we were at the Paley Center so yeah you know it's just really hard for me to get past that that people didn't get it you know as, as you I mean not out, people though, didn't no, get the people it got people got in the industry the industry didn't, industry get, didn't it. get it yeah partly because some of the people in the industry have these small ego issues. I know that's hard to imagine that, that, the, <laughs> that ego could be a problem. And that, in many ways, I watched that be a significant impediment to this happening. But also, it wasn't just that. It was also some people that were pretty cool that were just like, I don't see how... I should or we should do this, meaning the actors or the performers. Right. They just didn't see how it was their problem. So that's okay, too, to think that. It's just that if not you, then who? It's all on what, Debbie? You know, and that was kind of what happened. I told a great story the other day. Um, the Elizabeth Taylor's uh, estate is actually doing a book right now. Okay, hold on one second. Someone is asking what the high bid is. 500. 500. Okay, $500. All right, that, so... Go ahead. I'm sorry. So Elizabeth Taylor Estate is doing an authorized biography on Liz Taylor, and I was telling some stories, and I said uh, they were kind of asking when did Debbie and uh, Elizabeth become friends again, and we were discussing that, and I said, well, one of the contributing factors was actually during the hotel era, we, on a big auction, came up from Italy, uh, and the prop and costume house in Italy that had handled the Cleopatra movie was selling everything, and 
we had a lot of cool stuff from Cleopatra, the stuff the studio had brought back, but a lot of it never made it back, including Richard Burton's armor from Cleopatra. Now, we knew this was going to get to be expensive. Yeah. But, so my mother, I don't, I don't even know exactly how, but she says, well, I have to talk to Elizabeth about this because I think she would be interested. In this. I was like, <laughs> I don't know why Elizabeth would be really interested in this. But they had just done some age march stuff together, so they were kind of chumming around a little bit. And I suspect Liz had said, hey, if there's ever I can do anything, like, how do I help for a change? This is like, you know, rare that somebody in the business would say that. So she felt okay to call and put me on the phone with Liz and had me explain to Liz what was up for sale. And it was his white and gold armor from a couple of very important scenes. And she, I, she said, well, how much do you think it's going to go for? I said, the reserve is like $30,000. You know, this is not like some small packaging item like, you know, the average collector. Uh, but she said, hey, you know what? Just go wherever you have to go. Let's buy it. It belongs with my costumes, and Debbie has my costumes, so just pay whatever you have to pay. Aww. So she, she gave me carte blanche, and uh, a day or two later, the auction went on, and we actually got it for pretty reasonable money, but she didn't even blink, man. She paid for it just like that and supported, you know, felt like that was her thing. Now, if everybody in the business had done just a little bit like that, it would have been so much better for my mom. Right. But, you know, and Ryan, you know this because you've been to the house a million times, but it, it, our house is kind of a little museum-ish. And I love it. I, I do. Because I love when people come to visit that, that we all enjoy each other and they get to enjoy something that they wouldn't see anywhere well, that's else. That's like what and Ryan just showed us. Yeah, it, yeah. exactly. And, and, you know, and, and so for that, I understand exactly why your mom did it because there's a, there's a pride in But the irony know, is I never saw any of it ever. No, and not in the house. She didn't have it in her house. She never. had her little ruby slippers. No, that was later too. I mean, and growing yeah, up no, she, all the way yeah. through until pre-Vegas era, so pre-90s, not one artifact ever in our house, never. Well, we can't say that because we do like I'm not saying I'm going to live like that. I'm saying that's what she chose, yes. which shows kind of where her head was at. Mm -hmm. Now, I, cho I didn't, I could have obviously at any given point in the last 20 years had said, oh, can I have that to put in my house? And I don't know, I'd never asked. I, it just was not even on my mind. We just didn't do it. It was for the museum. No, I understand. I mean, I but never that picture of Ava Gabor well, wait, as wait, Lisa so here's the, in Green Acres has to hang somewhere. And here's so the I difference. love having that, That's one of my favorite here's things. Carrie, here's the difference between Carrie and Todd. Yeah. It's George Lucas's birthday. And Carrie says to my mom, can I give George something like, you know, from the museum collection? It'd be really cool because I think he would really dig that, you know. And my mother's like... Well, I, you know, I guess so. We could certainly, we have like 3,000 costumes. We could certainly afford to give Lucas something. And after all, he hasn't treated you so bad. I mean, this is, this whole Star Wars thing isn't been a bad thing. So what do you want to give him, she says. And Carrie goes, I'd like to give him the ruby slippers. <laughs> okay. And, uh, hey, let me think about it for a minute. Let me think. No. Like, <laughs> uh, that would be a no. That would be a no. Oh, my God. But um, Carrie, of course, thinks it was perfectly acceptable to give away the ruby slippers. Oh now, Seth Robicho, you say, I adore the Ava Gabor picture, but Darling. where did you see it? D uh, d maybe in a, in, did you? I did a walkthrough. Ah, yes. I love it. It's, first of all, it's massive. It's, it, I don't even know how many feet. Probably eight that, feet. Eight feet tall. And it, it's at the top of the stairs, but it's... Well, actually, it's, life, it. it's life size. Yeah. But when you include that was my favorite the whole show. frame and everything, it's about eight feet. Green acres. And you know what? You see? You know what? Wait I a think minute. We, we should sing it just to honor Okay, it. here we go. One. Everybody join in. Everybody. One, two, three. Green, Green acres, acres is, is the place to be. be. Farm, Farm living is the life for me. me. 
land spreading, spreading out, out so far and wide. And wide. Keep Manhattan, Manhattan, just, just give me that countryside. countryside. Yep. <laughs> New York is where I'd rather stay. I, I got allergic smelling hay. I just adore a penthouse view. Darling, Darling I, I love, love you, but, but give me Park, Park Avenue. Avenue. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying, if you're going to do it, <laughs> so you've got to do it upright. Yeah, and you want to know, I bet, everybody, I bet everybody at home sang it and knew the words too. That's why I did it, because to me, those are, those are certain staples. That's like meat and potatoes. So I loved Green Acres and the, the Beverly Hillbillies. Those were like my two top. But... The, you know how we attract things? We talk about that all the time, you know, because energy is very, it, it, the, the law of attraction, if you just want to use the base out term, is, you know, what you focus on the most is what, 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 you, what becomes, meaning, you know, that you can be the focused on your misery or focused on your happiness. And so I was focused on Green Acres and the Beverly Hillbillies, but the Green Acres focus was serious, all right? <laughs> Dang it, if 40 years later I was living in New York City, I was a city girl, and I bought a house in Las Vegas because I wanted to retire here and do my thing here, do what my new thing here. And I met someone named Todd Fisher who lived on a farm with chickens, goats, horses, cattle. No and emus. I became Lisa from Green Acres. <laughs> I'm allergic to hay, and that's you are the my truth. wife. Goodbye, Goodbye city, city life. life. <laughs> but I became Lisa, <laughs> and I think it's because I focused so hard on it when I was a kid. You made it manifest. You manifested and, all and of this. And when we came, when we came here, of course, you know, I, I brought a lot of the animals, of all the animals that I could, you know, not the cows, but. I'm still Lisa, and I'm no still allergic to hay. That's no all. I, that's all I have to say about that. I just. I'm just saying. That's what you're saying. I'm just saying exactly. <laughs> so, uh, we are now. Uh, just how are we doing on time here? I don't want to keep everybody up all night. Okay. Well, oh, you know what? I uh, I, I do want uh, uh, Ryan um, built this fantastic Facebook page that ho o over 600 people have joined it. Right. Are we uh, 500. 500. We're it's aiming for 600. Right. And so if you want to, you, you, I'm going to let Ryan tell you if you want to go join it because it doesn't cost anything to join it. You just join and you get to see stuff. And, you know, there may be something in there that you love and you go, oh, my God, I actually can well, let me afford explain that. Before, I'm he, get it. before he explains the store, let me explain where the stuff comes from. Okay. So the store is made from... It's called the Debbie Reynolds Studio, studio Store. store. Mm -hmm. But the store is... Every time I go to the office and clean up, yeah. I find another box or I'm moving something from point A to point B and I find something and we keep unearthing what I consider treasures. to be. Well, I think they're treasures. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're some, treasures. Of these, some of these things aren't necessarily earth shaking. In fact, the thing that's cool is that they're th some of the things we're finding are very affordable yeah. for people if you're a beginner collector and you're right. not buying expensive things. So it's, it's, it's something for everybody. And I keep finding, like the other day, uh, you remember a, a while back, we, we found these little matchbooks from the Deborah Reynolds Hotel and Casino, and these went in the rooms, and they were in gold embossed. They're really cool. They're beautiful. Little wooden stick matches. Yes. Anyway, we, we had found like, I don't know, maybe like 30 of those, and we were thinking, wow, what a score. Well, I just found like 100 of those things. So event, that's the kind of thing that happens is, you know, you unearth like someone had my mother was pretty good at socking stuff away like this. So I keep finding little fun things to put out. We found a bunch of Carrie's books that were in her garage. They all sold today. Right. So Carrie yeah. had, had been had and a bunch of books. And they were first release hardcover books, which... Their you know, first editions. Yeah, first She edition. was going to sign these books and just never got around to it. So they literally were just stored in her garage and eventually got moved to the ranch. And so there's a limited number of them around. Uh, by the way, I wanted to say this for Ryan, because uh, I know you had some trouble with some people that were upset that they didn't get in on all of that. Wait, let uh, Ryan, is that true? There, there were some, uh, let me just say, Todd's, Todd's not far off on that. It, I mean, be sold out in 15 seconds, 40 seconds. Uh, today, I mean, but this we is only why you have five. to sign up because you know then you you, yeah. you can get alerts. You well, know? no, I, and I'm not always able to fix things, but I want to I want because yeah. what happened after I brought these over, 
I found four or five more copies of this or that. So I probably could put these bundles oh, a good. few more copies. So the people that didn't get it is the point. You could keep everybody happy uh, and probably come up with a few more copies. Because keeping people happy is the whole point of collecting. When right. you know what I mean, like and and I love. But what I didn't you said anticipate about, 45 seconds that it's gone. I mean yeah. that doesn't give everybody a lot of chance. <laughs> and they're you know and they're just oh Dora, what a great photograph. She's probably went out to put the chickens away because I went out last night after the show and Chiquiata was crying in his cage outside and I felt like the worst mother ever. Ever. So anyway. anyway, so go ahead, so Ryan. So Ryan, now you, you could take, take over as to what's happening. I just wanted to explain where the stuff came from, then you can explain what we're doing. Oh, I'm glad you did. And and what I love about the page, it is it is a private group, so you do have to join it, and then I'll get a an alert that uh, you've joined, and uh, I'll accept you. You can also invite people once you're in, but this is the place to go if you want some of these unique things. So, And I always let you know, like right here, uh, you know, I give you the times and when things will go up. So it's never one of those situations where you're at work and you didn't know something was coming up. You know, I do give you some notice for that. But uh, today we had these three carry bundles and they went fast. Uh, and all people have to do is is write claimed in the bottom in the comments. And and then I contact you and we're off to the races. So there's lots of cool things in here. We've done some giveaways. Um, here are the uh, framed envelopes, which uh, oh. we'll show you in yeah, a we'll, minute. Yeah, we will. Well, well you know what's important about share. that is, what's important about that is we put these envelopes up a little while back and we even gave a couple sets away in some different auctions and things. But I don't know if people really understand what you can do at with that them. moment, what you could do with these and how beautiful that is. So Mark Shepard for your birthday. That's right. Uh, so what you're looking at there is um, there's Ryan's. There's Ryan's envelopes. Uh, what Mark Shepard took the 17 envelopes that are in the set and he had them framed. And we have it on the set just to show you in case you already do have the envelopes. First of all, they're highly collectible because they don't exist as far as we know. Uh, the well, we, 17 no, we in do, a set. we do know. I mean, I've done... I mean, I, I know we've done I've asked, exhaustive searches. Right, and I know people yeah. that collect and they're like, I've never, I've seen that one and that one, but never that one. Uh, so Yay, Farron, that's good. It's good to have you do back. You want, do you yeah, want show, me to... Yeah, show them what that looks like because um, people already have the envelope. So someone's asking the dimensions of the frame, and I'm not sure, but I'll get back to well, you on that. Well, I can tell you, this is about... This thing is pretty big. Four I'm gonna, feet? I'm going to stand here. 48 inches by 24 okay, and a there, half Okay, there's the answer right there. So that those are the 17 envelopes. That now you also don't, you could do it this way. You could have three wide and then it would be more landscape rather than up and down. So you could have had three mm -hmm. and then it's shorter, right? But so, it's beautiful. It just... It well, just, I think the colors and the way this went together it's is really spectacular. It's really a beautiful piece of art, and it's a so such a collectible. You could keep them forever. You could sell them. You could do whatever you want. If you know, some people like to flip things, and um, I you can know. assure you, I looked around and I, I you know, oh I found no, a few. I looked too. I went everywhere, every, and I could not find them anywhere. But this, you know, what was interesting exciting. is that th these were a good example of something that just was thrown into a warehouse. They were probably sent to us to approve and to see if, so we had a box of each one and and so there's a limited number but the point was we didn't think anything of it you know when it, it just went into storage and we then, didn't know well, until no, we I opened the box i had never seen them before yeah you know, and, and we, we were like oh my god how many different ones are there then we search because that's what i was we do. there i nearly i nearly collapsed when i <laughs> when we opened box after you got box the vapors <laughs> you nearly I... collapsed <laughs> I didn't even know what to do. So, Ryan, you made the choice to put them around with your other collectibles because you have oh, things to go did with that everybody. Just to photograph no, them. but you see, he has he has themes going on, and he put them with his themes. Right. Right. So that's you don't have to frame them. Um, like one of the things yeah. that I'm going to do, um, I'm going to take the carry one, and I'm going to frame. Uh, I'm going to a picture that I've taken of carry, and I'm going to put it with the carry envelope and I'm going to make a limited number and I'll sign the photograph because it's a photo that I took. Yeah. Uh, I won't sign the envelope, but I'll put that in there with it and I'll make a limited edition of those. 
Beautiful. It, but they're just really cool. If you don't have a Star Wars fan, it, you know, it, it, this. Well, when that reminds it's just me, an so amazing the, thing. the bundles that Ryan. Get them on the. the oh, go ahead. Well, the bundles that you sold uh, out of so quickly included the, the, the postcards. Ah, so what he's showing you now is catcosmetics.com. Oh, okay. My so Cat has some for and sale. So we, we put them there, but here's the good part. If you get them here at my site, you know, we we, ha we have, have sales. A, we have sales. So right now it's 20% off. Oh, okay. so For Easter, it will be 30% off. And so, you know, the, these are in, included in the sales, so you can save quite a bit of money there. But um, what I was going to say is uh, the, the, the thing he just put up for sale, these bundles with the books. Yeah. They included the postcards, of which many of those pictures I took. Right. Uh, and w the, so you got a book and the postcards. So we have a few more sets of the postcards, but mm -hmm. we're running out of those fast. Now, those were made when I was doing my book tour. We were making part of buying a book, and you'd get the yeah. postcards to go with, with it. But what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to... We'll release the last of those, and then that's it. So that becomes like a limited edition. Right. And I'll make then another set of postcards in the future for the next group and the, and then that will become is that the part dog two that's by that's the way i think i know where there are a lot more of those with the postcards yeah i saw a whole bunch the last time i was there well not a whole bunch but uh, well i you think can tell that they're not as many because of the massive of hoarding going on i can't find anything i have to i'm going to in start putting i'm going to put tiles on things he's scratching back there my point though is that when we run out of those we're not going to make anymore because I, I was asked today if we wanted to go into a reprint on those and i said no that way it's more of a collectible because we only had a first run right so i i prefer that because i have other pictures i mean how many pictures are in there i don't know whatever it is i don't know but it would be nice to have postcards of other pictures of her that you took because you were the photographer of the family you have we have great pictures we have great because pictures. you had a camera hanging around your neck all the time and it it, it was a good thing all right so ryan what else did you want yeah. to tell us anything else about that no, that's i mean that's just it i mean there we have auctions on here we have giveaways uh it's a really interactive place and you do an amazing job with it yeah as, as, so you, join, as you do join it and yeah hey whatever happened with that uh, clapper board of roy's we sold it on on the uh the site yeah for the party auction. of five the auction yeah did it do well um, did it do well okay Ryan? You know, right. I mean, the thing is, that's great about that is, as you know, with auctions, it's all about eyeballs. Of course. It's only worth I as much as it. someone is willing to at pay for moment. it at that moment. So it's always, a, it, you know, when you auction things, you just don't know what you're going to get. That's what I've learned from being with you because I who, didn't know anything about that before. The person who did win it liked Party of Five, and I was able to say that I know that Nev Campbell, who starred in Party of Five, and she does all the Scream movies, she's been doing a lot of autograph signings right now. So I said that would be a great thing that you could hand her, um, yeah, and then get her to sign. And now you're upping the value of that. It's not just a clapper anymore. It's you know get people from the cast to sign it with a really cool paint pen, <laughs> and now you've got something that's really really cool. Like yes. my lunchbox. I have a Knight Rider lunchbox. Yes. <laughs> and I signed had William who? Daniels sign it, who was the voice of Kit. And it was signed by David Hasselhoff before that. And now I've been th thinking that maybe, you know, that you I would sign it. You paid quite a price for that. Yeah. But it's, it's got, you know, the little thermos inside and, the, you know, all the great nerdy things. that. And I am That's a nerd. That's not nerdy. We all I have... am I'm a nerd and no, a lunchbox was nerdy and I was proudly nerdy. carried my nerd card I had a, I had in my lunch, wallet and I, the lunchbox. I had lunch a lunchbox. <laughs> in, of my, a, a living legend in my own mind. <laughs> no, but, all right. There will never be another night. By the way, that's, is that I mean, computer they can, on? You they can, can turn try, it on but if you want. It was a one of a kind show and I loved it. You terribly. got to turn on the Mac. Maybe okay. If you want it. So, um, all right, uh, Scott Edmondson, I have one too. See, Scott, do you consider yourself a nerd like I do? I, no, I don't consider you, and I'm just saying like I do myself. I think nerds are awesome. I married one, two or three, actually. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. We're having fun. It's just all in good fun. Uh, no. So here we go. So Ryan, you, do you have anything else you want to add to that or just stay with nope. us? Okay. I think once we get 600 people though, we're giving something really cool away and we'll use the uh, name randomizer to do it. Oh so my God. I, I love the randomizer. Yeah. It's so it takes all the pressure. So off. How many do you have now? 500? About 500. Yeah. So invite people who you think might like the page might want some really cool items and those the items sometimes we have bundles that are 30 40 dollars so uh, and then you have a little yes look people are saying i'm a nerd yes there's a little bit of nerd in all of us Geraldine says it, it, it's a good thing i think it's one of the greatest things to be you will fit in always right it's the best ryan you're a nerd don't you think yeah yeah in some ways see John. Yeah. It's, it's a good thing. Give me a picture of Dwight. Okay. <laughs> Dwight is going Dwight's to get decided the... decided to sit with Liz. I have a t-shirt that says, talk nerdy to me. Talk? <laughs> I love that. Dawn said she has a t-shirt that says, talk nerdy to me. That... And I'm wearing a t-shirt that says, nerd. And, and Mark well, is wearing a t-shirt right now that says, nerd, on the front. I, I think, love that t-shirt. I think in the dictionary, in the word nerd is actually a picture of Mark. But that's, I'm just saying. <laughs> but, uh, Look at so, Dwight. He's so he's Dwight he's, sitting with his girls. Yes, he is. Look at that. Oh, precious little thing. My God. Okay. So, um, all right. Let's see. Uh, nothing wrong with being a nerd. You're right about that. Okay. I love it. Seth Robicho, total old Hollywood nerd here. Thank God for that. That's all I've got to say. Now there's all right. So we're one. okay. Um, so the uh, the dress behind me is. Uh, at five hundred dollars. Now still? that's a two-part thing, right? It's two pieces. Two pieces, yeah. yeah. And uh, so I just want to update everybody. All right, so I think it's time to give things away. Oh, thank God. Yeah, look at look at Ryan. <laughs> Ring those hands because we're ready. I'm ready too. Are we using the randomizer tonight? Yes. I'm ready for it. Throw it up so everybody can see. There you go. Here we go. So we are using the randomizer tonight because it takes all the pressure off of people not seeing their name first. Da 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 da. It just randomly chooses a name. Uh, if you are in the room, you have already been uh, added to the randomizer because Ryan is watching for each and every person that walks in to the room, so to speak. He puts your name in the randomizer so you're already included you may just win something so don't go anywhere here we go we are going to go for prize number one here we go and let's see who it is jan, jan hanley. hanley who uh jan it's so i love jan it, john. jan is a get your fire back Hit alumni i got the fader up Oh yeah, he's there. You go, and like really just punch the no, punch the sound up on that. That's uh, there. You go, Jan Hanley. Thank you. You did an awesome job running our show last night. We had Jordan on. He and and it was just you. You were great. Thank you for doing that because I know you were tired and you were like, okay. It was my dream. It was your dream, and I've never done a show in here without you in in this setting so it was well i was here you were here but not there in the daddy seat okay here we go jan hanley you have won a gift certificate for 25 dollars to catcosmetics.com donated by frank ferruccio ferruccio so john there's an i put a little tiny piece of tape <laughs> down on the bottom row of buttons on the left side and you'll see that you'll see a little piece of tape if you when whenever somebody get, donates something you can hit that button this is up on the 360 on the player oh my gosh i see the second one okay let's go for the let's go for the so that's, uh, that's, name I number feel good. two so winner number two jan hanley was winner number one who's going to be winner number two laura fields brand new name for us Laura right, Fields, it. Laura Fields. Sure. All right. This was also donated. That's our theme song for winning shit. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a late night show. It is. I hope so. No kids watching this. Turn it off. Okay. So, um, Laura Fields, you have won. 
This is donated also by Frank Ferruccio. And it's and and so you have won a set of the postcards, right? Okay. And Todd will, uh, of, yes, there you I'll go. Outside the one so there. Of my girls, so Todd. I'm actually only in one of the pictures, I think. Yeah, but but if she wants, you you will if sign one. If you want me to, one, I'll sign yeah. it to her, sure. And then um, let's see, and uh, and a signed eight by ten is Frank also. Got a signed 8x10 he got for this. So, uh, so you can have a, a signed 8x10. Uh, Laura, uh, uh, go ahead and just go to my private message here on Facebook and send us your email address and your address so we can get those. And, and if you want Todd to sign these or one of these, and also two 8x10s are in that Frank donated, uh, uh, one of us together. And um, so... Huh? Oh, Laura, I'm so glad. So you will get these, and you will also get uh, the, an 8 by 10 of, of us, and we will sign that for you. And, and, and Laura, I'm glad you're here and that you are a wiener. You fit in right. And you know what else we're going to do? What? We're going to give Laura the, um, the My Girls book. Oh, gosh. So Todd Fisher just donated his book, My Girls. Well, anybody that's just crying over postcards deserves to. a book. Yes. That's all I have to say. And Todd will sign that for you. And thank you, honey. That's, so that's a the, great thing. So that's the My Girls book. Uh, and, and that, oh, here's the, the sleeve. Okay. Now you got the postcards, All right. The book, We're ready and the for picture. number three. Number three. Wiener number three. Okay. Thank you, Frank Vodorucho. Thank you so much. Ooh, All there's right. another new name. Christian Satcher. You know what? N new name. See, this is, this is great. Uh, Christian, I don't know if you're a um, man, woman, chicken, goat. I'm not really sure. I, I, I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that anymore. But uh, it, would, it would be uh, good to know because then I could point you in, in a good direction I, for this. You have stuff for both. I do have stuff for both, but you know, this is a new, this is not a client. This is a new person. I'm going to need you to go to my Facebook private message and, and give me your address and your email address so we can uh, make sure we have everything right. Oh, you have won a $25 gift certificate to Cat Cosmetics, catcosmetics.com, catcosmetics.com, it's my company awesome skincare and makeup whatever you're into donated by <laughs> frank Farrucho. i feel good i feel good that's right that's right every time someone donates something we gotta and and you know crank it up too because all I mean, right there you go okay so christian if you're if you are a uh well a dude if you are we have um we have products uh, that are fantastic the lip and eye the skin care well, i the wear Rooster i Booster, use which i use the skin care i know well, i'm just saying john uses my what loves it luke uses use it. it ryan uses it I have right. an incredible skincare. So there's care stuff we for have. dudes as well as the gals. Yeah. So anyway, not sure, and it doesn't matter. I just wanted to let you know. And if you're Seth, if you're Seth, you use the lipstick. Oh and my everything. God, he we he wears my makeup all of it so well. I mean, it's it, I wish Rich he looked might that wear good it as me. good as anybody. I know. I understand why a lot of those makeup companies use men. They do to model makeup. Yes. Because you know it, it does a great job. There you go. All right, wiener number four. Hey, here we go. Yes, we here we are. I'm so excited. Who's it gonna be? And Don, Don Renta. Renta. You know what, Don? You are you have you need to go buy a lottery ticket because you've been very yes. lucky lately, don't you think? Yay, Don. All right. Uh, you know what? She does. So you can hand me that. All right. Yeah. Well. We can do that next show. Oh, my God. Dawn Renta is in Pennsylvania, so this is really great. Needed yeah. right now. You're going to get it. Like, we're, we'll send this out on Monday morning. This is donated by Linda Cornreich. Oh, <laughs> Linda. Linda Cornreich. So this is the greatest neck warmer you it ever. It is 
knit by this it comes out of a door store now is that like hand knitted it is wow and it's and you slip her, her Dora's sister Doriana knit this and it's super soft yarn no scratch no itch this is from their store 2d uh knitting oh wow and it, it's on etsy uh, really soft it's so beautiful Very soft. look at the color I'm an expert. I on love soft this stuff. color. This is so I great. Think that qualifies. So you can wear it like here to here. My mother here, would like that. Your mother has got that cool green uh, color. She likes. Oh, she, they have a green. Her whole color. bathroom is that color. So Don Renta, congratulations! You have one, uh, one of my favorite things. And Linda Cornreich, thank you so much for for um, buying this and donating, and we really appreciate it. Linda Cornreich, get yourself out here. I miss you. I can't believe I haven't seen Linda in a year. It's impossible. All right. I miss so, you more, Linda. Oh, love you. Okay. I just love that. So if, if you want to check out 2D Knitting at Etsy.com. Yes. 2D Knitting. Beautiful, knitting. beautiful work. Doriana is so talented. I, I have like five of those. You I know, love if you, them. Next time you do this, have the website and I'll throw it up. We, we, yes, we do. We try to do that every show. Uh, Richmond Chandler. Hello. I'm glad you're here. Here's Anna Papa Georgiou. Our next winner is Erica Escamilla. Erica Escamilla is the next winner. And see what this is. Samantha, kick him into gear back there when he's not making those. He's, he's doing a lot of things no, at once. No, no, no. She, she was on it. Okay. She was Erica Escamilla, she... if you uh, have this already, let me know. But uh, this is... Um, donated by Tracy Saunders because she won it but already had it, so she donated it back. And that was donated by Barb Kevin. So uh, what it is is uh, Catherine Hicklin Mind Amazements. There's three great programs on here. Um, and also my Broadway CD, which has a l very large orchestra, and it's, it's a really fun CD. But uh, it has Stop Smoking, Lose Weight, and spiritual reconnection through prayer. All three programs are on here. If you're suffering anxiety at all, or you can't sleep or have insomnia, this is your friend. So um, Erica, uh, let me know if you have it. And if not, it's coming your way. There you go. All right, next. Yes, uh, by, yes, I, I, I Tracy Saunders and Barb Cavern. Okay, so uh, the next winner, Jayma Taylor, Jayma Taylor. You have been randomized by the randomizer. <laughs> Jayma Taylor, here we go. Jayma, you have won. Oh, Kylie Catlett, you are so, she donated, she's Kylie from Hawaii. Kylie Catlett, you have donated this prize going to Jayma Taylor, and it is a copy of my book. So when you get it, Jayma, all you really need to remember is that it's just you will read the forward, which is in the first three pages of the book. I will sign it for you or whoever you want me to sign it to. And you read the forward, which tells you why this book was written. And then you will go straight to the date of the pa of the that you get it straight to that date and um it's it's 365 inspirations for of um, wait don't put it away to have heaven have on to earth read for the you debbie so. thing in honor oh okay so debbie my mom wrote a do little you, something do you want to read there. it no you can read it you got it there but i feel embarrassed because it's you, you know, feel embarrassed yeah <laughs> you should do it because i gotta have glasses when i read it. <clears throat> okay cat and her friend fern have written a wonderful book to help us keep God in our hearts and lives every day of the year and remind us of our connection with the Spirit who enriches us all. Through the best of times and the hardest times, we're all safe in God's loving hands. These daily meditations celebrate the divine guidance while opening our <laughs> hearts to let in the blessings. When I count my blessings, I am so thankful for my family. I am happy Cat is with us. Every day, is a gift. Every day is a fresh start. Enjoy this collection of inspiring prayers. Debbie Reynolds. So the mama. The mama. Wrote that for Kat. And that's yeah. pretty cool. Thank you. It was an incredible When honor. I wrote my book. Nothing. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> oh, I forgot. She wasn't she here. She wasn't here. She wasn't here. But I put a few pictures there. But yeah, I would yes. have loved to have had 
you know, that. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, it, 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 of course, it made me cry, and it's a great honor. Um, congratulations, Jayma Taylor, and thank you so much, Kylie Catlett, for making that happen. Um, and uh, I promise you that this book is very life-changing and thought-provoking just a few pages at a time. So I'm happy that you have it. Okay, we are ready for the next one, Ryan. All right. Randomizer is randomizing. Gillian Gray, which is really weird, and here's why. Gillian Gray, you are the wiener. Why okay. is it weird? Uh, why is it weird? Because I was just, you know, I'm, I'm talking and I'm listening and I'm looking at people's comments when I can, and Gillian Gray had a comment that made me laugh. And so that was like, so we... You might have made that I conjured happen. you. You might have made that <laughs> She happen. said, if, if, if you could cure my insomnia, I wouldn't be able to watch this show <laughs> with <laughs> you guys because she's probably on the East Coast. But anyway, Gillian, I'm happy for you. Here you go. Um, oh, yes, this is a $25 gift, gift card to catcosmetics.com, and it is donated by Amy Perkins. Amy, you made somebody feel good tonight. That makes me feel good. All right, $25 gift certificate donated by Amy Perkins, Gillian Gray. You got to just make sure that we have your, do we, do we have hers? We have your e email. Okay, great. That's a, okay. Send it just. And when in case. does the auction end? Is that tonight? Sometime? The auction will be ending oh, in. Ryan. Right after, right after, uh, we draw this name. Is okay. Dora watching for the for the uh, winner? We are watching it. We are watching it. Yes. Okay. So you, if you have a bid, five hundred. If five hundred dollars is the last bid, so just to catch everybody up. All right, here we go. We are and going, going once, going twice on that bid. You better hurry because yep. when I hit the name randomizer, she's closing it. No, how do you know it's a she? Here we go. Well, she oh, Dora. she's closing Dora's it. Closing Dora's closing, closing it. it. Laura Kanizny. Laura Kanizny, congratulations! You have been randomized. And did you hand me the? I, I mean, I wouldn't be no, surprised. No, you don't have anything yet. I don't have there any. There you go. There we go. All right. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Auction is closing right now. Closed. And I'm gonna give it a few minutes only, so you can make sure. Um, okay. This is donated by Barbara Hammond, big friend of our show, and my late night buddy. <laughs> I don't sleep at night. I sleep in the morning, just so you know. So if you see me on Facebook, you'll know that why. So Barbara Hammond, you have donated the My Girls set of cards. I'm sorry, who was the wiener? The wiener is Laura Kanizny. Laura Kanizny, that's right. Laura, so you are, do you want, if you want to, Todd to sign one of these, that would be perfectly fine and um congratulations laura i and i'm going to i'm going to um throw in a little surprise with that too so uh barbara and i uh will, will conspire so laura it's, it it'll be a surprise i will put it in the mail with these and um i love these you have the paper strap mostly there. because todd took mo a lot of the pictures i have what a little paper. Oh, the man. sleeve? Yeah. Okay, there you go. Congratulations, Laura, and thank you so much, Barbara Hammond. We have one more, one more giveaway. There's no end to it. There's no end? One more? I thought that was eight. But wait, there's more, there's wait, there's never, more because our, there's one of our guests in the, in, the, um, in, the ga in the gallery here just donated um, four uh, prizes, and so one of them is going to be given away right now. <clears throat> so this do going. this donation comes from uh, Luke Neary, who's in the front row. Oh, Luke, come up here! Luke, come up here! Come for, on down! Come on down, Luke, so we can give this away together. Go go wide <laughs> on the camera. <laughs> look how cute he is! This, you know what? There you go. You're dressed for summer Make and looking room. good. Go. That's right. Yes. Okay. Well, Oops. There you go. Give him the stool. Right here. No, we got the, the stool. stool right there. Move yeah. that. Move All that in. Right. And then come sit next to Move me. Move him in a little closer. Luke Neary is, of course, you remember Luke. He came in from Houston and uh, did my hair, and we had a big interview, and it's good to have you back, Luke. 
<laughs> Yay! Yay! I love it he doesn't give me a bear hug because that shoulder would have been like on flames would, by I, now. I, I would, no, would, you, would, you're you a good I, hugger. I need to be gentle. To be gentle. Oh, he's got his cat oh, Dan on too. He's got yeah, his cat Dan Look at Dwight is loving on you. Yeah. Yes. Because he knows so, you're a good uh, I don't. I, I don't have a microphone, so I'm just going like, to Hey, give us the oh, handheld. Okay, here, give us a handheld. Okay, here we go. Wait, earlier. you need to have a mic and then we can hear you. I said earlier, whoever donates gets... Um, to they get a clap, right? That's right. Well, I don't want that. You don't no want clap. I want. I, feel good. I want to show you my fairy, my my favorite, my very favorite Carrie scene. Okay. And it's uh, her and Sex in the City. Uh, I, f I think it's the last season. When if you can find it, Carrie Fisher. We Sex could try. We could try, but I oh, didn't know. I didn't know that she it. was on Sex in the City. Oh, she was amazing in it. I'll tell you what. I'll. I'll you guys keep. Oh, going it's out. it's when she's at the um the Playboy Mansion or the when they're in L.A. Yes. Yeah. Probably the Playboy yeah. Mansion. Um. Okay. So here's. It's hilarious. I know, Luke, thank you for donating, and and so I really appreciate it. So who won? We here's the randomizer, Luke. Beth Hughes. Beth Hughes. Beth Hughes. You are the wiener. So Luke has donated four gift cards, and we are giving one to Beth right now. Beth Hughes, you have won a $25 gift card to catcosmetics.com. We will... Um, the elastin cream's amazing. Yeah, yes. We will uh, get that Elgin out to cream. you tonight uh, in your email. Uh, and so uh, I, I think we have it, but just for safety, go ahead and we have so it. So, John, okay, you, could put up, you can put up Stay my uh, Apple TV. So there's the Carrie Fisher showed up in Los Angeles as herself. She sleeps with the aforementioned Keith Vaughn. She wakes up what she thinks is his beautiful Hollywood mansion, only to be rudely awakened by the real owner of the home, Carrie Fisher. Okay, now you. Know, I don't think I've seen We it. could get kicked off. Oh no, I won't run yeah, it. No, I'm, I'm we'll going to put get, that up. It's, but yeah, everybody we'll can watch. Off. If we ran there it, it they is, would freak yes. out. Um, so the so Luke, is that the scene you. you were thinking of? Yes. Yes. Okay. So Beth Hughes, you are the wiener. Luke, you are a wiener too because you're a giver, and I'm so happy that you're in town and came to see us. And I'm my and oh, my understanding awesome. is that that he has been out food shopping. Yes, he brought food. And champagne, which well, is not required is, to visit here. Oh, okay. She, no, <laughs> I'm going right. to talk about the, the appetizer because that is her absolute, my mother's absolute favorite appetizer was Joan's scone, scone Joe's, crabs, yeah, the, Joe's, the crab, yeah. just, that was her freaking favorite. We used to send, because she would rather eat at home, so oh, when yeah. Debbie would come, we would go pick up the food and bring it back. But and, it doesn't matter but with that. But the look on her face oh. when she'd eat that stone crab was worth it i mean that's, it, like, that's it for her today. we oh and that's your, your he said favorite he brought too, it right? for her today it is my favorite it's my favorite restaurant in the world um so it's i'm happy you're here okay auction winner frank Ferruccio. I'm look at toddy's <laughs> you know what you know what frank it's so beautiful it, it re is it really is it's a well, beautiful I mean, piece at some point you know he's gonna Thank be like you. ryan he's gonna have to figure out where all the stuff's gonna go yeah do you that know, is so a funny. Piece. As we're sitting here, I get distracted because I just got a notice that the Three's Company cast is doing a signing. So now I'm like, got to do it. You know, when you grow up watching these shows, it it, it means something. We lost you, Luke. You, he ran away. He ran away. <laughs> he had his day, he had his day in the sun, right? I'm going to get in the limelight. You had enough. Here. Yes. All right. He so now. Uh, so I want to thank everybody. I want to thank you, Frank Ferruccio, for, for the bid. Thank you so much. I want to congratulate our winners. I want to say thank you to Ryan, who is not only one of my best friends in the whole world, he's my secret keeper, but the best producer, the best everything. Your spirit of excellence is moving to me. Hey, thank um, you. Hey, so I, regarding... I receive it. I receive it. See, it's easy. I love it's it. It's easy to do. It's easy to receive. But don't receive it if it isn't what you believe about yourself. Meaning, if someone says something rude, I don't receive it. Right. Leave them in Throw there. Throw it and back. Just, just Throw say, it say back that in. and they'll stand there and go, don't receive it. What the heck does that mean? It's like fishing and a small fish comes it's in. It's a great it pattern interrupt. It it's it. wonderful. Now, Frank Ferruccio. Yes. Uh, with this latest purchase, yes. certainly one of the larger Debbie collectors. I don't. 
Uh, I just recently, as you know, uh, brought some stuff back from yes. the ranch. Yes. Uh, we just we ha we had to go to the ranch to get some equipment for the studio, and when we had some space left in the van, we put some more Debbie stuff in there. So. I'm going to include a surprise for Frank. Frank, you're going to get a surprise. Yay. I love a good surprise. Right. That's right? why. I, well, and I, 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 who doesn't, right? <laughs> Duh. Duh. That's <laughs> a, that's a, <laughs> okay. I uh, also want to thank Johnny for coming in tonight with his beautiful lady, Samantha. I want to thank Dora Lee Fernandez the big night on the for town. her ex spirit of excellence as well. And thank you, Luke. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Liz, for coming to be our audience tonight. It would be fun to have a live audience. I can't. Well, you're getting closer to <laughs> it right now. <laughs> no, but I mean, it, it will be really fun. Well, well I'm not going to. I think this is the biggest the crowd show. we've ever had in here. Well, we're without a doubt. You know, between, between Dwight and everybody else, it's maxed out. True that, right? <laughs> no, I think we do actually no, they, meet all they of the They are all six feet apart. No, we <laughs> have true. the criteria met here. The no, criteria the, is The COVID met. police cannot get us. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, I just want to say thank you all for, for being with us tonight uh, on this wonderful Saturday night. We have a closer, don't we? We do have a closer. Um, okay, hold on before you press buttons. Uh, I'm not going to press anything. What, what was the question? Yes, Cat Cosmetics will have an. E we have a 20% off sale right now. Uh, it, it, the code is We Care, all one word. And then next, uh, let's see, on the, f I think on the first, what's today's date? It, it's Blur's Day. Okay, so. Okay, so Thursday the 1st, we will have a 30% off sale worth waiting for. And may I also say, on Thursday, what will be back in stock Thursday? The Microdermabrasion Cream. Oh, thank God. We, well, you know what? We I, sold out in oh, two days. It you was know what? insane. But and I've it's been, such a good I have product. been sweating that, man. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, last night, I mean, I was. Oh, wait a minute. I was up till 3 a.m. last night worried Ryan, about that. Are we doing Debbie's birthday on Thursday the 1st? April 1st, right? Yes. yes. So Debbie Reynolds' yes. birthday is April the 1st. Yes. And we will be doing a show that night. I, we'll, we'll start it at 6. We'll try to keep it short because I know it's a, uh, not short, but we'll try to keep it to an hour because it's a school night. Not a chance. Okay, well, there's no way it'll be an hour. I didn't say for Not sure. I said we'll, we'll do our best, you know. But but it's going to be no, it's not. We going can't to even be. do the giveaways in an hour, much oh, less the phone. Yeah, we'll try to keep Ouch. it to two. Well, okay, but anyway, you you know, we're, it's going to be a special special show Thursday night. And I just, John, if mama. I could have my close-up camera for a minute, huh? John, I just want to say to all of you that have been losing sleep That's over right. the micro. Der what is it called? Microdermabrasion cream. Microdermabrasion cream. You can all sleep well tonight knowing that that is back in stock. I know that I am going to sleep well because, I mean, it's been very stressful not having that in stock. And so I just know all of you are going to sleep better tonight. And I just wanted to put that out there. I'll take 20. There you go. He wants 20 pieces. I'll take 10. What is it? Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. dangerously quiet. Dangerously quiet. That's right. Do I need to call my agent again? <laughs> you, you know what? I might have to pink slip you. Bob, <laughs> it's Todd. Yeah, I'm in trouble again. Yep. Okay, so uh, <laughs> there, was there any other questions about that? Ryan will be here for the show live Thursday night because he gets in Wednesday night. Wow. Yeah. So this is going to be a wow. really fun, fun, super fun night. And I hope you'll all be here Well, for I will tell birthday. you for sure that we are going to bust out some good Debbie stuff. For yeah. For sure. Oh, yes. yeah. We're going to have film. Oh, you, you don't even know. No, Ryan's been on the case. Okay, but I have a few film clips that probably have course. never seen the light of day. You're the daddy. You get to pick. But no, no, no. It's not that. And I have. But we have. You know, treats. Oh, yeah. We'll do treats. We'll be, All right. And, you know, and by the way, for those of you who aren't paying attention, it is <laughs> April 1st, which is April Fool's Day, and my mother loved a good joke, as you know. Yes. So we will be sure to come up with something to goof on somebody about. Exactly. And it might have nothing to do with microabrasion cream. Microdermabrasion. And oh, it dermabrasion. is like spot. You get done with it. So your skin is like a spot. 
spa quality facial. It's unreal. It's I'm so good. I'm into it. I'm, I'm into it. I'm in. All right. So we're going to play the close for you to all say good night to each other. Um, so we're going to play my uh, my um, closer. My closer, which is literally my closer. It's a it's a the there teaser for my hypnosis show. There you go. Which hallelujah. This, all this year will everyone I'll be able to do it. it. Yes. And if I can remember sure, now. It feels absolutely fantastic. It feels absolutely fantastic. <laughs> given gift. Make sure you use it well. Think beautiful, kind thoughts towards each other and most of all towards yourself. The self-talk we do really goes far. Your mind is limitless, but it's also very powerful. So remember, speak love.